Just at sea, a group of survivors paid tribute today to those who died in the 1969 USS Frank E. Evans crash. 74 people died in the accident, including a man from Buffalo. News 4's Nick Cotrini takes a look back at the disaster and what's being done to remember the victims. Nick? Callan, the accident claimed the lives of 74 sailors when their ship was destroyed after colliding with an aircraft carrier in the South China Sea. Now, this happened during the war in Vietnam, but the names of those men do not appear on the wall in our nation's capital, and there's a fight to make that happen. There's no question that these men should be on the wall, and we will fight until our dying day, until, until they're on that wall. And we're aggravated. We're aggravated. We've been fighting for so long now to get these names on the wall, and they deserve it. In the early morning hours of June 2nd, 1969, the USS Frank E. Evans was virtually cut in half when an Australian aircraft carrier hit the U.S. Navy destroyer. Out of the 273 sailors that were on board, 74 of them died, including three brothers from Nebraska and Buffalo native Terry Lee Henderson. The smell was like... Um, a, an acetylene torch cutting through metal. It smelled like metal burning. The crash was tremendous. I mean, it was just the sound was, it was unbelievable. Every year, the survivors and the families of the fallen meet up for a reunion. And I've lost one brother, but I've gained 199 who survived. The 2016 get together was held in Cheektowaga. The mother and brother of Buffalo native Terry Lee Henderson were in attendance. I think it's one of the most wonderful things that could happen when these. People come every year. Henderson's brother says it's been a struggle to get recognition for these men. The association has been trying to get these gentlemen on the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall in Washington for a lot of years. We've come close a few times, but it's uh, always failed someplace along the way. Um, there's some some resistance within the Defense Department. For now, the reunion, which is in its 24th year, helps keep the survivors and the families of the victims connected, and it also offers them a sense of healing. Because they too have lost someone it's just like you're one big family and a lot of these gentlemen have served on the same ship and they've all been wonderful and the reason why the names are not on the walls because the accident happened outside of the combat zone right now the uss frankie evans association says senator charles schumer is helping them get the names put on the memorial reporting in the studio nick quatrini news 4 at 10.